Welcome to Rautas Weekly Mail. Today we have uh, three pieces of mail here, which I'm gonna go through with you. There's a couple of uh, mail from uh, Finland, from Finland, different cities, and one from Poland. So let's see what we have here. The first one is the smallest one, obviously. So let's see what is inside. It's called Hammer Over Kill. Devil's Music, it says nine songs, uh, this seems to be um, CDR, probably, well, definitely self-financed stuff, uh, it's a um, one-man project from Lahti City, uh, started in 2013, straightforward rock and roll, heavy metal, punk and metal, Yada yada yada. Yeah, this was released already in March 2017 as a yeah, self finance stuff. You can find these songs on YouTube and SoundCloud, and uh, they are asking for merciless review. So, if you want to uh, see this, what this band is all about, hammered over, hammered over kill, go see them online and let me know or what you think on our Facebook page. The next one is from uh, Capital City, Helsinki. Yes, this is uh, well-backed stuff. So let's see what we have here. All right. Tuhon Siemen, which means like something like a Seed of Destruction. Um, oh, Finnish band, uh, four songs, no info whatsoever. Then we have here An Erotic End of Times, Chapter 1. What a crappy name. Rock slash Industrial. And uh, this doesn't say where this band is from. Germany, Belgium, something like that. For uh, fans of uh, Fields of a Nephilim type, O Negative and Catatonia. Yeah, it doesn't sound too promising, in my opinion anyway. And the last, but not least, is Vampire, which already uh, got out earlier this spring. It's pretty good black slash trash metal with primeval, primeval force. Uh, pretty nice digipack, nine songs, rather good album, check it out. And the last one is from Poland, uh, supposed to be quite a few, few CDs inside here. Let's see what we got. At least this one is well packed, as you can soon see. Yeah, big package of stuff. Yes, this is um, uh, Misha from Wolfspell Records, and they're sending a batch of CDs. Yeah, lots of stuff from Poland, and all these bands are from uh, different countries. This from Sweden, from Ukraine, a couple from uh, Finland, uh, Greenland, Poland, Canada, stuff like that. So, the package of uh, CDs tightly packed in, a, in plastic, whatever. Let's see what we can find here. I mean, not just the names of the CDs and bands, but this, this fucker is well packed. Alrighty, let's, let's get on to this. So, quite a few CDs as you can see. Let's, let's give these a brief, brief uh, check out. Kalman Kantaja, which means like uh, Carrier of the Dead. Uh, 
This one is from Hyvinkää, Finland. I actually know some of these guys myself. Um, it's black metal, not very original one, but they're doing their job decently. Uh, looking forward to see and um, hear this new album called A Demon Woods. It says atmospheric, atmospheric black metal from uh, Finland. Sure. And this next one is called uh, uh, Pure. What the hell is this all about? This doesn't say on the front what it's including. Um, Helga. Um, weird stuff is that the paper I'm holding doesn't exactly echo with this stuff. Okay. Now, now we're talking about three different uh, booklets here. The first one, this pretty one, is called uh, Hermoder. Don't know how I'm supposed to, you know, say that. It's from Sweden and this album is uh, Head on the Third. Atmospheric black metal from Sweden. Um, kind of bursum like cover if you ask me. More kind of uh, wooden pictures inside. Yeah, probably, probably decent stuff. The next one we have called is a leg. And this one is from uh, Poland. Yes, like uh, something like toy games or whatever in Swedish. So it would be a weird name for Swedish band. Considering that this one is also melodic black metal. Yeah, interesting one, sure. And now we have a really badass cover here. You can see this one. Yes, look at that cool guy on the front. And this one is no idea about the logo, so I just have to check out the paper. What the fuck? This is stupid font. Use uh, silver text on this cover, and uh, this one is called something like um, Rivaus, something like Possession. Lyöden tauden ja kirouksin. Finnish black metal. Now, well, all the names are in Finnish, so kind of makes sense. Don't know what to expect, since the cover is either really cool or just really stupid. Anyway, next band is called Moonlight Drowns. There's either a typo here or... Yeah, <laughs> this one's stupid. As you can see, it's Moonlight Drowns. But the actual name is Moonlight Drowns. And then what, this one is supposed to be atmospheric black metal from Greenland, which is not known for many bands. The Star's Guide, The Path is the name of the album. And as you can see, it's nice. Digipack limited to 500 copies. Promising stuff, I can tell you that. Being sarcastic or not, we'll see about that. And this one is also from uh, Hyvink, uh, Finland. I actually reviewed this already earlier in the spring before Rauta Channel was born. This one is called Olio Tähtien Takana. And the album is called uh, Neo Cosmos. Uh, it's kind of a limbonic art sense of black metal. Lots of keyboards, lots of, lots of atmospheric, uh, atmospheric stuff and uh, faster parts, but then also lots of uh, ambient-like stuff. Actually, a good one. Well, we'll see later on if we will actually give this a review on uh, Raul as well. As always, you can uh, name the band we have mentioned here on our Facebook page, and uh, you can actually make your word stand, like what we're gonna review here, because not all, all of the stuff we will get enough time. This one is called uh, Jean Vier. This one is uh, also atmospheric black metal from Canada. And the well, album is also called Jean Vier. Four songs. And yes, very atmospheric cover image. Canada, known for many, many interesting bands. We don't know what's gonna be. And this 
other ones. These are just plain CDs here. These are interestingly packaged. So no idea how it's gonna be. This one's called, well, I just no crap on covers here. So these are way more interesting than actual CDs. Escapism, escapism with the K. And this one is called Tales of Elder Forest. It's atmospheric black metal from Ukraine, which probably brings you uh, bands called Druk and stuff. Yes, forests and more forests. Sure, certainly some kind of um, nature stuff. And uh, one of the last one is called D. A film Sprungen ur Lust. Uh, I don't know about this, how to pronounce all this stuff. Uh, black metal from Sweden in 90s style, whatever it means. Probably some um, second wave black metal. It's all black here, so yeah. Then there is Dead Life, where Dead Life, uh, what? Dead Life, where life ends. And this one is supposed to be. Um, uh, kind of a suicidal black metal, depressive suicidal black metal from Sweden. Maybe Shining coming through all your ways. Railroads, yes, this one is something you cannot kill yourself with just because it's either poor or so depressing. Kalman Ganda was mentioned, and um, yes, like, yes. I think that was all from here. These are the ones that I mentioned earlier. So lots of stuff coming this way, oh, even though it's slow season, that is June. Check out these bands if you're interested in the black metal genre. And uh, if there's any particular album you're interested in, let us know on our Facebook page and we'll give it a review. Until next time, motherfuckers, stay tuned on Rauta channel. Rauta over and out.